Let's do a couple examples involving compound interest. So let's say that George put $5,000 in a savings account that pays out 3% interest compounded monthly. What is his account balance after four years? So anytime we see this word compounded, we're going to use our compound interest formula. It looks pretty complicated, but keep in mind there's going to be five variables that you need to account for. So the A, the P, there's an R, there's an N, N repeats again, and then a T. So there's five variables that we need to fill in. We're going to have to find one of them, so there's going to be four variables that we know. So let's identify what everything means, first of all. The P is principal. So P is what you put in, so that's the 5,000. The R is the rate of interest, so that's told us as 3%, so as a decimal. N is the number of times that it's being compounded every year. Not the entire time, just every year. So because it's being compounded monthly, then this is being compounded 12 times per year. T stands for the time, so this is being done for four years. So what we're going to do is plug this into the formula to find what the amount is. So this is going to tell us the entire balance. So A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N raised to the N times T power. So think about what this formula is actually saying. We're going to take 3% and divide it by 12 months. So that's telling us how much it is monthly. And then the exponent, which is 12 times 4, is going to end up being 48. So because it's being compounded monthly, this is going to happen 48 times. So that's why the 12 is being multiplied by the 4. So then at this point, we're just going to go into the calculator. I'm going to write 12 times 4 is 48. Just make that easier in the calculator. So just type it exactly how you see it. So 5,000, open parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.03 divided by 12 close parentheses, raise it to the exponent of 48. Okay, so when I hit enter, this is going to be the balance at the end of four years. So $5,636.64. Let's look at another one. The number is a little more complicated. So let's say that Simon received a signing bonus of $1,800 and invested the money in a certificate of deposit, known as a CD, at a 2.8% annual interest rate compounded quarterly. So how much money will the CD be worth in nine months? So again, anytime you see this word compounded, we're going to use that formula that involves five variables, so A, P, R, N, and T. We must fill in everything that we know. So $1,800 is invested, so that's our principal. The rate is given as 2.8%, so as a decimal, you're going to move it 2 to the left. And if the number of times being compounded yearly, okay, so not the total number of times, just for every year. So yearly is being compounded quarterly, so that's four times per year. And the time is in nine, or is nine months. Time has to be in years, so I need to change this over. So 9 months, so if I take 9 out of 12, that's going to be 3 quarters of a year. In other words, 0.75 years. So it's got to be done in years. So 9 months out of 12 months is 0.75. Okay, so now we have everything, so we plug it in. So A is equal to P times 1 plus R over n raised to the n times t in years power. So just plugging it in your calculator exactly how you see it. Okay, and just one comment I should make in my calculator. As soon as I hit the exponent key, it gives me an exponent. On some other calculators, you may have to use parentheses around the entire exponent, because otherwise it's only going to raise it just to the fourth power, and then multiply the whole thing by 0.75. So depending on what kind of calculator you have, you might have to put parentheses. So I put parentheses around that exponent. 
Okay, so whatever calculator you have, this is the answer you should end up getting. So 1,838, and since we're talking about a bank, they're probably not going to round up, so I'm going to keep that at $0.06. Cents.